Hi Katie, welcome in today. Hi. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Okay. Thank you for coming in to see me today. <laughs> I, uh, I do have a big chart here. Let me go ahead and take a look at it. Okay. I'm just going to need you to verify your, your first name and your date of birth for me, please. Katie, March 23rd, 1991. Okay, yep. Everything seems to be in order. What was the time of your last visit? Approximately. It was a few months ago. Okay. Looks like it was in March. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and set this aside then. Okay. Tell me a little bit about what brings you in today. I've got an itchy melon. An itchy melon? Yeah, it is just itching and tingling, tingling oh, yeah. in the part of my scalp by my ear. I and have an itchy melon. Yeah. And some numbness and tingling and I just wanted to get it checked. Okay. That's definitely good that you ended up coming in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some hand sanitizer here before I go ahead and look at the scalp. Okay. itchiness that you described, is that something that has been encompassing the entire head? Or are there certain areas in which it's bothering you? It's more on the hairline in the front okay. and by the ears okay. and it kind of goes to like back here where it stops. some direct access to the scalp here, which is nice. I see lots of healthy hair follicles, which is a good sign. There is a tad bit of scabbing and redness that I'm noticing, particularly in the areas they described, like around the hairline. Let's take a look by the ears. Okay, it does look like some slight flakage in this area as well. It doesn't look like it's dandruff per se. It just looks like the result of lots of itching. Do you feel like you've been itching your scalp a lot because of this itchiness? Yes. sensations on certain areas of the scalp. I'm just going to begin by forging a path in the hair. And I'm going to be pressing an object into the skin 
that object is going to be sharp or it's going to be dull. I want you to let me know which sensation you feel. Okay, this is going to be what sharp feels like. And this is going to be what dull feels like. Do you notice the difference between those two sensations? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to focus on the area around the hairline as well. the difference between those two sensations? Yes. Cold. Warm. Cold. Uh, past that 
pass with the flying colors, which is always a good sign that you have a feeling of sensitivity in your scalp. We are going to move on to another test. I'm going to be gently pressing into your scalp with a tool, and you're going to let me know how many times I run it through your hair. And for example, this could be once, twice, or three. Three times. Four. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on and test the flexibility of the hair follicles by gently touching them with my hammer on top of my knuckles and seeing how the skin reacts. was bouncing back exactly like I hoped it would. It still doesn't explain the source of your discomfort though, so I'm going to go ahead and just use a Q-tip here and I'm going to collect some samples. I'm 
going to want to do some further testing to discover the source of your itchiness and discomfort. Uh, for now, I am going to go ahead and focus on some itch and pain relief for your melon. I do have rosemary oil here that is very healthy and nourishing for the scalp. Just gonna throw it in a tiny bit along the scalp line. I'm just gonna gently rub it in with my sensory That concludes our session for today. I'm glad you were able to come in. I can go ahead and rule out anything um, of a serious nature involving your scalp, but we are going to want to do a few more tests. So uh, for now, I'm going to give you some over-the-counter pain relief, and I will see you back here in a week's time. Okay. How does your melon feel? Really good. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for coming in.